Fascinating night in the history of Bellator MMA, the deepest prelim card in company history, with big wins for guys like Goichi Yamauchi, Costello Van Stinas, for Sean Bunch, for Joe Schilling. But on the main card, we are keeping our eyes on Juan Archuleta. He continues to impress every time out. Yeah, I mean, we saw a little bit of everything from Archuleta. He wrestled when he needed to, but he set everything up. He set it up with the punches. He set it up with the kicks. He threatened submissions. But above everything, Grandy, it was the pace. He never stopped from the first minute to the last minute. He looked the same. He'd hit you in the body. He'd kick you in the mouth. He was unrelenting. It was very clear that he was trying to get the boss's attention, and I personally believe he did just that. 16th straight win. He's now 21 and one. Alima Lynn McFarlane, Valerie Letourneau getting set to fight for the flyweight world title in Honolulu. We needed a number one contender. Christina Williams says, you're looking at her. Yeah, I think that's right. You know, I mean, she comes out, she's got a plotting style, but she controls the range. She controls the kick. She knows where her opponents are. She stalks forward nonstop. Now, I thought that her opponent, Ella, put up a very good fight. I thought she scored some points when she got in close, but ultimately, this thing was a, a pick -em match. I'm gonna hit you and you're gonna hit me and we're gonna turn to the judges and figure out who did it more and who did it harder. Christina Williams got the decision. Bright future for the 22-year-old Bruna Ellen, but Christina Williams in the winner's circle. Always memorable to see David Reckles, his record 21st time inside the Bellator cage. And this was, for a guy who fights a lot of short fights, really impressive 15-minute performance. Look, I really thought this was the fight of the night. When you're talking about action, when you're talking about just a back and forth battle where two guys won't let up, but ultimately time runs out. I mean, this was a kickboxing match at times. This was close quarters. They both had some takedowns. They both had some good stand-ups. Neither of them really had submission attempts. And they both went out there and worked. Ultimately, the judges were left with one question, which is who outworked the other one? And even though Bamba finished the fight on top with really good control, the majority of the fight was Rickles landing a little bit more, a little bit more often, and that's how the judges had it. He's fighting from the bottom, holding guard might have been the difference, getting David Rickles his 14th win, third all-time in Bellator history. In the main event, Chidi and Jukawani, it seemed like so many times he's been closing in on a world title shot, but on, all John Salter does is spoil parties. Yeah, and look, whenever you're taking on a powerful grappler, which John Salter is, Damian Maya comes to mind, but Salter tonight, if they can get you to their positions, and I'm talking about on the ground and early, when there's no sweat, when there's no slipperiness, it's just like having a gi on. You're just not going to get out of those positions. Salter went from A to B to C, all advancement, all ultimately finishes with this rear naked choke, forcing the submission. Big win for John Salter back on the list at 185. One of the great nights in Bellator history. For the latest in Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com or the Bellator app. Bellator MMA's epic afternoon event from Italy is on Paramount Network tomorrow at a special 4 p.m. start time. Wow! Italian superstar Alessio Saccara battles Kent the Hammerhorn Cabinet. Bellator MMA, tomorrow on the new Paramount Network.